There's the Pixar Place sign. Take a look at that. It's only in black and white. I was hoping it was a little bit more in color. I know, for being Pixar, I was hoping like more color, right? Yeah, well that's what Pixar is <laughs> all about. It's all about the colors. And uh, I still like it. It's a cool sign. It's very simple. It's modern. But I was hoping for a little more color. Nothing wrong with what we have right now, though. <laughs> yeah, or like a mural or something, like of them painting or drawing or sketches. That'd yeah, be really cool. just imagine a big know. Buzz Lightyear or or Woody just like inviting sketches, you in. Like you know what I mean? Like the sketches of like how they designed the ca animated characters on and the stuff. side of the building. Right? Yeah. Something. Give us something. <laughs> <laughs> so right here in the back side of the hotel, they have these really cool Pixar balls, but they're all lamps. Look, very cool. This is the walkway. Yeah. This is the back side. Yeah, we decided to do the back side because. It's closer. Yeah. <laughs> We're not about to go. Well, we'll go in the front still, but it's right here. So we decided to go the back way. <laughs> now I'm so excited that they finally put Luxo up front on top of the Pixar ball. We're going to go see that. It's right in the lobby. This is something we've been waiting for for a long time. And now we're going to go see it. So come on, let's go. Wow, that is awesome. It's all lit up. And on this side over here, look. <laughs> There's more of them. Ratatouille. There's uh, Remy. Remy. Wow, look at this. There it is. It's Luxo. Luxo. We've been waiting for this for a long time. It looks great. And I love <laughs> all the colors right around this lobby. I love it. It's great. I feel like since like, it's stained glass ornaments, imagine when the sun hits them. It's going to look all colorful in here. Yeah, nice and glowy. I'm also digging this rainbow wall. This is a great spot for like a photo. If you want to take a picture here? I think it looks nice, especially for like Instagram. Or... You want to take a photo? You want to take a picture? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see if we can find someone to take a photo of us. Now, if you also want to come and see Joe play his piano, you can do it right over here. It's very beautiful, very uplifting. I enjoyed it. it made me so happy. If you guys want to come and do it, you can also do it here at the Pixar Place Hotel. I'm really loving all these changes. It's great. There's so much color here. I love this back wall too. I know. <laughs> clothes in this video from like right now and later <laughs> is because this was actually two episodes we came a day before they opened the Pixar Place Hotel and we wanted to look around so you're gonna see us like in different clothing but uh today is the opening day or actually it's the second day of the opening and we wanted to come and check it out so we yeah. brought you guys back but the energy is still the same it's still the same <laughs> I'm like really digging the music they have in here. It's like very vibey, 80s lo-fi kind of like sound. I'm really digging it. Ooh. Take a look at this. You can get yourself some Special coffee bar, here. Yeah. Tea time, build your own brew. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Pick your coffee or cold brew, choose a creamer and syrup, indulge in toppings. We have to come back and check it out. We definitely do. Because we keep checking this place out and listen, they're always putting new things in. There's but connoisseurs, now we know what it is. there's enthusiasts, but I call myself the coffee queen, the cold brew <laughs> queen. And this is intriguing because it has like toppings of like whipped cream, chocolate sprinkles. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta get closer. Let's get a closer look, come on. Okay, so they have regular decaf or cold brew. They have half milk, cream, or almond, or oat, or coffee cube, ice cubes. What is Whoa, that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know. You don't want your coffee to taste all watered down. So they mm -hmm. have like little coffee ice cubes. So when if it does water down, it's it's like extra drink. You well, know that's a I mean? great idea. Because sometimes I'll just leave my coffee there for a while. And then after and I come back to the iced coffee, down. yep, it tastes like water. It tastes oh my gosh. very bad. And then they have <laughs> seasonal syrups. Ooh. We're gonna have to come back. We definitely do. But they should definitely open up for the afternoon, not just for the morning. From what we saw, they're only open in the morning. From like, I think 8 a.m., no, 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. Yeah, so, so we're gonna have to be here early to check it out. I know, oh my gosh, I can't wait. And of course, if you wanna watch some movies here, look, they're playing Pixar. They are the your testing the fire alarm system. Oh, they're I testing knew it the too. fire alarms. <laughs> All right, there goes Janelle. She's about to meet Bing Bong. Oh, but I have to get some of your tips. 
So I really enjoyed seeing Bing Bong today. They don't really tell you what times it's gonna come out. It's kind of like, it's random. But when we came in, it was around one o'clock and we saw him about 30 minutes later. So maybe he's out at 1.30, I don't know. It's always gonna change. <laughs> He goes. So it's so cool that you get to come and meet Bing Bong here at the Pixar Place Hotel. Now that is absolutely free. What we did is instead of parking here at the hotel because it's very expensive, it's about $40. Be advised about that. I would recommend you park at the downtown Disney area and make a downtown Disney kind of day. Go out and eat something there. But before you do, come and meet Bing Bong and then head out and do something at downtown Disney. Have a lot of fun. The store. And look how cute this little Remy plushie is. How cute. Shirts. Did you see that yeah. one? <laughs> I like this. Look at the shirt. <laughs> I really love the little Remy though. It's so cute. Yeah. So over here at Story, they have these new Pixar Place Hotel merch. Look at the tumbler. This is very pretty. And they also have these pins on this side. Look. Now I think I've seen one like this before, but I've never seen this one. Look at that. Yeah, I really like this one. Pixar Place Hotel. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. There you go. The Pixar Place Hotel pin. Are you showing them the pin? Aren't this cute? Yeah. This one here is $19.99 if you want to come and pick one up. But we just want the one. Just as a remembrance of the first day of its opening. Actually, second day. Of its second day. <laughs> Start of the first day. First week. downtown Disney and we just noticed how bare this whole area looks. Yeah, the stage is like, right? it's gone now. It's so gone. it's all open here and I like it. <laughs> I do too actually. It feels a lot bigger. Yeah, and look at the cute little mirror. We'll go over there right now and show you guys. <laughs> but I wanted to come to downtown Disney because it's almost Valentine's Day. As you can tell, oh, I'm already yeah. ready to celebrate Valentine's Day. There's so many things to do here at downtown Disney. Like there's treats over at the Grand. There's a bunch of treats at Marceline. So for now, let's go ahead and check out the mural that's right here on the left side. We got a new one. We got a new one. <laughs> so right here in the entrance of downtown Disney, they have this really cool photo op that says downtown Disney in this kind of like retro font. You can come over and take a picture if you want, right over here. Pretty cool. Usually after five o'clock or six o'clock, you'll see everyone get off of work. They'll come over to downtown Disney, try to get something to eat, maybe look at merch. But right now it's calm and I love it. Oh, here comes the monorail. There it is. <laughs> because yeah. it has like all different arrows of Mickey. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite one. Look at this cute little like soap dispenser. Like what would I use? I already have so many. That is a nice But one. I'll find a way. <laughs> Trust me. You give me something, I'll find a way to use it. And unfortunately, these don't have a price yet. They must be new. We call no it prices. The, guess, the guessing price. Guess so you go price. up there, you guess the price. <laughs> so we just walked inside the Disney home store to check out the Disney foodie collection and look. The Disney Eats collection. I'm loving it. <sighs> Mickey ice cream. Does it smell like anything? Vanilla. Oh, it does smell like vanilla. This right here, vanilla scented pillow. Huh. And they also have these blankets here too. And if you were to open it up, it looks like, sorry, it's it like this. This one right here, look. See like the hoodies right here. Oh, it's a wrap. This is perfect. It's, like, it's called a throw, isn't it? Or Yeah, it looks, looks okay. So it's a, <laughs> a little throw. You wrap it on there. There's some Velcro so you can wrap it. And there's a hidden pocket. It's all about the hidden pocket. Yes. There's two <laughs> hidden pockets. And you could basically take two snacks, one on each side there in those go. pockets. See, now you're thinking like mm -hmm. me. <laughs> I don't know why. This is the funniest bookend set. It's a hot dog. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm really enjoying this collection. It's very nice. What we're gonna do today too, we came to Downtown Disney because we wanted to go to the Grand Californian Hotel because they have this really cool 80 foot dragon inside the lobby and we wanna show and it to you guys. Valentine's Day treat. Let's go get it. Yes, let's go. There it is, look. That is a huge dragon in the lobby of the Grand Californian Hotel. Wow. I kinda of wanna get a view of the dragon from upstairs. So we're heading up there and we're gonna see how cool it looks from all the way up here, guys. Let's go take a look. There's a lot of stairs here. <laughs> this is what it'd be like if we were on a cruise. Yeah, so get used to it. So we're here on the balcony of the third floor and take a look at that view. Wow. There's that 80 foot dragon. It extends across the whole lobby 
that's really cool and if you guys want to come and check it out for yourselves you guys can come into the lobby for free at the grand californian and check it out for yourself it's it's really neat so this is definitely one of the hotels we haven't stayed at and we want to one day we do. I want to do more staycations. Yeah, we want to do more staycations. And this is one of the hotels that should be on our list. I know. This is like my top list right here. This one. This hotel. Yeah. Well, we've done the Disneyland Hotel. We did. But we haven't done the Pixar Pier, which before used to be, uh, what was Par it again? Paradise? I forgot. I... It's Paradise Pier Hotel. <laughs> did I say Pixar Pier? You said Pixar Pier. Oh, my gosh. It's called the Paradise Pier Hotel. <laughs> See, they're changing names on us every single day. I know. Day. So many names. <laughs> I love coming inside the Grand California Hotel because they have this cart. And every month, it seems like they go with the theming, like an Easter. They have, like, Easter treats. Valentine's Day. They have Valentine's Day treats. And so on, like Halloween, Christmas, and all that. But right now, look how cute. Wait till we show you. Look, they got Valentine's treats. Wait till I show you. Hold on. Let me turn the camera. You get these little cookie shooters. You can put like alcohol in there or you can put like milk. milk. And then there's strawberries on top. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know Some Lunar New Year yeah. stuff. Some more Valentine's Day cookies. Janelle's like addicted to these chocolate They're strawberries. They're so good. I feel like they pick like the most beautiful looking strawberries yeah. just for this occasion. <laughs> There it is. That's the Year of the Dragon Mushu cookies. They also have pretzels over here and Valentine's Day treats. Look at these beautiful cookies. They have a little Mickey one too. Pretty cute. Cutest little Valentine's Day cookie. Now they had this last year and I'm happy they brought it back this year because not only is it cute, but it's really tasty. I love the little sprinkles, the pink, the filling inside, so good. And then Miguel got himself a Luda New Year cookie. Yeah, the Mushu look. Mickey cookie. Look at that. They're so cute. Yeah. Now I did ask if they still have the, the, the hot chocolate and they still do. Yeah, so good news to everyone because everyone yeah. everyone keeps asking Janelle. They keep asking. Do they me. still have the hot chocolate? And I'm here to good inform y'all that they still have <laughs> it. You guys, this is not your typical hot chocolate like the powder kind. It is the delicious kind. It's like different in its own way. I don't even know why it hasn't gone viral. I hope it does because it's really, really good. But yeah, if you're here at the Grand California Hotel or downtown Disney or at the parks, stop by here and get yourself some hot chocolate, especially at night when it gets cold. Mm -hmm. That's the perfect time. So I've been getting into photography lately and today I bought the Sony RX100 Mark 7 and I'm hoping to get some good pictures because right now it's a lovely day. It's not too windy. It's not too bright. It's, not too, it's like the perfect day, I think. So let's see what kind of pictures we can get. So we're thinking now we're gonna go get some dinner. Yeah. We just haven't decided on where to go. We're deciding between Naples or Tavern. What do you think? I'm kind of craving the chicken at Naples, chicken but then the fish good. and chips at Tavern is so good. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw Janelle's chicken plate, I'm like, oh, should I made go? the wrong choice. <laughs> okay, that's that's it, because I think feel so? like we always go to Tavern. I think we should change it up today. To Naples? Naples. I really love that prime rib roast that though. Prime rib is oh, good so too, though. Good. Should we pay, paper rock scissors it? Okay, you wanna do that? Let's do it. All right, so if I win, we go to Tavern. Yeah. If you win, we go to Naples. Naples. You wanna try? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh Naples. 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 Also, let me give you an <laughs> outfit of the day. So this I got at Miniso at the mall. The jeans are thrifted. The vans I got here at World of Disney, like I think a year or two years ago. The belt I got two years ago here at the World of Disney dress shop and then the top is from Marshalls. Nice. So how cute is it? Isn't that cute? It's really nice. But yeah, I feel, like the, I feel like they wanted to do the outfit of the day because I kind of like my outfit today. You look great. I feel like you always look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Wait, Goodbye, wait. Tavern. Wait, Goodbye. No, no, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because I just saw the fish and chips pass by. I think I want the fish and chips. Are you Come sure? Yeah, Are you yeah. just doing this because you want me to have Tavern? No, because they also have a new cake here that I want to try. A cake? Yeah. A Please, because oh. you know this is going away soon. Are you sure? We can go to Naples. I don't care. See, okay, now I need a minute to think about it because <laughs> the chicken is good, but I just saw someone with the fish and chips, and the it smells really good. Well, it's up to you. It's your choice. Let's do tavern. What is your choice? Let's do tavern <laughs> because tavern is gonna go away for a while until they build a new area for a little sandwich, mm -hmm. and Naples is always there. So come on, let's do tavern. Oh. 
So we're doing Earl of Sandwich Tavern. So over at Earl of Sandwich, not the tavern area, but where they sell the sandwiches, right now they have these cool looking pastries and cookies and cheesecakes I have my eye on right now. It's from the B Sweet Company. I found them on Instagram, you guys. When I tell you these cakes look really good, they look really good. But I can't wait to get my hands on one. I see like that, that I think they have like the celebration one. It's like super pink and they have the s'mores one. So I can't wait to eat, finish eating here at Tavern and get my hands on one of those delicious cakes over on the other side. Every time I order the prime rib, I have to get it medium rare. But lately I've been going medium because I feel like when you go medium rare here, it goes a little under that. It's almost rare. So I like it a little bit more cooked but you can get it any way you want if you want to get it medium rare you like that do it i just want to get a little bit more on the medium side guys look at the size of that prime rib whoa it's huge it's that's juicy. my hand that's prime rib you got like two different textures of potato you got yeah. like the crispy texture and then you got the creamy texture i did the double potatoes but i got <laughs> fries and mash got my delicious do you see them yeah. Fish and chips good. and that golden crispy layer and the soft inside they're with the coleslaw. And I also have with some green beans because of their green beans here, you guys. So good. Yeah. This Gosh. restaurant has honestly become one of my favorite ones. It has. Here really at has. Yeah. So I'm glad that we came here. Look how, look at this. Wow, look at this. That is, wow. Mm. A big prime rib. Wowzers. I put the sleeves up. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah. I love the fat on it. Oh, so good. The bristle. Flavorful. Oh my goodness. And it's so tender. Let me get another piece. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Now, this isn't even like a steak knife. This is like a butter knife. Look at that. Wow. Well, I think they gave you a knife over there. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's kind of awkward to like cut it in this angle, but it's alright. There's some of this au jus. I'm in love with the steak. Oh my gosh. Come to the tavern, guys. I'm telling you, it's real good. Mm. So good. So we just finished our dinner and we're heading over to the other side of the Earl of Sandwich. So when you're done with the tavern, which is right over there, you come over here and you get yourself your, your cake. This is the one I want to try. Oh, this is the one, the strawberry shortcake cheesecake. Ube love cake, pineapple whipped cheesecake. This is vegan and dairy free. They have so many. I want to be there forever trying to choose which one. <laughs> but I really want to try the celebration oh, cake. Okay. See, I already ate, so I'm good, but the sandwich smells here at the Earl of Sandwich. It just smells really good. It smells like toasted bread. It's great. To my lover. Oh, I see the cakes right over there. There they are. This is the apple pie. It's so big. Wow, those look delicious. And they also have these ube cheesecakes. They got so many. And right over here, they have a six layer brownie. Okay, so they have a pineapple whip cheesecake. Do you think it might taste like like, like Dole Whip? I don't know. Should we try? I, I have my celebration cake. This is the one I came for. Okay, so I was gonna go for the celebration cake, but then down below, I saw this strawberry cheesecake, and I said, never mind on the celebration cake. I'm gonna give myself the strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> Look at that, six layer brownie. And then they also have these here. These are the cinnamon rolls, wow. So the one that Janelle decided to change her mind on, she said, I'm gonna get a rust, rustic apple pie, and they warm them up once you buy them. Yeah, they warm them up for you. Oh, I can't wait to try it warmed up. Earl of Sandwich, we decided to get the rustic apple pie, the pineapple whipped cheesecake. And the and strawberry shortcake. The strawberry shortcake cheesecake. Now they told us that the ube cake and the pineapple whipped cheesecake are out. the most popular selling here. They actually sell out of these. So they're all like, you should definitely try it. So we did grab one. We're gonna try this one here. And then we have the strawberry <laughs> shortcake cheesecake that Janelle really wanted to try. Yes. So she got her too. And then Miguel and got I himself. I love apple pie. Oh my goodness. The thing about Miguel is that you give him an apple pie and then you put it out of mode. Oh, oh you want his best. heart. <laughs> yeah, and so good. what's cool is that if you order this, they'll warm it up for you. So right now it's nice and warm and toasty. 
can't wait to you eat You should it. dig in the, that one first. I know, and one thing we should do one day is get this apple pie and go to Salt and Straw, buy some vanilla ice cream, Ooh. and put it on top. See, oh. now you're thinking. There you go. There you go. What? Wow, there it is. The Looks apple so pie, yes. And then Janelle's gonna try the one she wanted to get. The strawberry cheesecake, and then there's this one. Let's try that the one out. The pineapple whip. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that. So it's gonna take a, taste like a Dole Whip? I don't know, but now I'm thinking of like combining the both, you know? Ooh. And wow, once you open this one up, I can smell it from here. Yeah, it smells really good. All right, so we're gonna have to try this one here first. And I don't know if I should just use a fork or a knife because there's kind of like a crust all around it. So I don't know, we're gonna have to get a little creative here. <laughs> Let's cut into this. Ooh, oh, yeah, it is. Didn't even need the knife. You also have cookies too. They did. But these were standing out. Now, the six layer brownie that they had is insane. It's, I already forgot what was like in it, but there's brownies, love, marshmallows. Brownies, yeah. cookie, graham cracker, and I think Oreos too. It's insane. Next time, next time. Here, let me get it like this. Ooh, look at that. That's go. kind of a big bite. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but here we go. <laughs> I'm just the biggest fan of apple pie and I'm glad that I found one here that is delicious, nice and cinnamony. It's got that apple taste and I'm just happy that they also warm it up for you. But next time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to put some ice cream on top because that's the way I there eat my apple go. pie all the time. <laughs> but yeah, you can follow them here on Instagram. It's my be sweet. See? There you go. It's all their socials, but the moment has come where I get to try out the strawberry cheesecake. No, oh, should I try the pineapple one? Uh, whichever one you want. Let's do the pineapple one. Can see the one selling out fast? Let's see what the whole. Let's see what the hype's all about. The hype's all about. Ready? Ooh. I think mine's so cool. <laughs> mm. There you go. It's a big bite. Here we go. Here we go. That tastes like an actual Dole Whip. Really? Like, if they were to make a Dole Whip, I'm not even, like, what? Mmm. <laughs> Wait. It's like sweet and tart and creamy. Mm -hmm. I like the, you know what's funny? I like the crispy, like, breading on the bottom because it's not, like, mushy, but it's a little crispy, so you can have different types of texture. I can just say that I can wow. smell the aroma from here. No, you gotta try this. Yeah, I, now that this is close to me, I can smell the strawberries. Mm -hmm. No, try this, Miguel. All right, let me try this. Babe, Let's you're gonna, see. You're gonna that, want like that's six like of the these. Biggest bite. <laughs> Go. Janelle says, I want you to try it. She gave me the biggest bite ever. <laughs> it tastes literally like a doorway. Mm. It's very tart, I'll tell you that. It's tart, but then at the end, you get a little bit of that sweetness. Right? Yeah, I love the crust on the bottom because it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's got that tartness, kind of like the Dole Whip. It's, it's, it's nice, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it you, if you were to take a bite of this, you'd say yes, it's Dole Whip be. But yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite still is the apple pie. That's great, mm -hmm. but I don't know, I just like the natural taste of the apples more than the yeah. Dole Whip be taste. This is, it does have a little bit of like that flavoring, like, like a little artificial. Sweet, tart, yeah. But Nonetheless, it does taste like a Dole Whip, and it's really good. That's for someone who has a super sweet tooth. Oh, like they're like, I want yeah. something sweet. That one's good. Mm -hmm. The apple pie I like because, like I said, it's a little more natural, more traditional. But that's not bad. It's very good. It's really good. I can see me sharing that with like a friend just to try something very interesting. That one's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's so pretty. It's like a shortcake, is it? Let me see. It looks like strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. Now this has like a different crust in the bottom than that one. This one kind of reminds me of like the, you hear the crows again? Yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah, this one kind of reminds me of strawberry pound cake with like the cream and all that stuff. But I'm going to be towards more of the pineapple one. So if we're up to me, I would grab the pineapple one or the apple pie. The apple pie is a must for sure. This one for me. Uh -huh. Wow, that apple but pie. We're gonna take it home with us and we're gonna finish these ones here. But that one is coming home because we have ice cream at home. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna put it on top of the apple pie. Yeah. Afraid of the crows when they're flying all above you. Because you just, you never know what's going to happen. 
Well, well I think some of us know what's going to happen. But uh, let's just hope it doesn't. <laughs> so they got rid of the 100 medallions now. They're gone. No more 100 years. That coin that was here, gone. Now it's nice and open. Look at this. I like it. I kind of missed just seeing the fountain there. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, there we go. That's always the best when it goes down and it splashes everyone. <laughs> yeah, like it flops. So we're here inside of the World of Disney store and we just wanted to show you the collection, the Disney Eats collection, because they have more than just the stuff we showed you over at the home store. They have these really cool shirts. I'm kind of digging this. I know, I kind of like this shirt too. Right? Yeah, it's it so looks nice. really cool. And then, look at that. It's a popcorn bag. It's weird. It's actually kind of throwing me off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this cute sweatshirt. This is so cute. That's me, Miguel. That's him right now making that face because I forced him to go into the teacups with me. And I love this top. I love the yellow. <laughs> so right now we're going to head into Marcelin's confectionery because I want to check out some Valentine's Day treats. So let's go yeah, inside. Yeah, they might have them in here. Let's check it out. Marceline's confectionery. All right, so it looks like we have a few of the Valentine's treats right over here. There's one. And then look, we got some strawberries. Is it six dollars a strawberry? Yeah. Oh, very no. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you better eat it slow for six dollars. You know, I would honestly say go to a store and just buy a bunch. <laughs> Probably for around that price. I wouldn't buy one for five ninety nine. Oh yeah, this one here says besos de amo. That's cool. And these are seven forty nine. So they do have quite a few Valentine's Day treats here. They have the apples. Oh, they have these here too. All right, guys. So we just had a great time here at Downtown Disney. Today was our vlog, of course. We said <laughs> we we're going to do more vlogs. So if we come to the park to hang out, it's just going to be a vlog. It's yes. just us being here and having a good time mm -hmm. with you guys. And we also want to take you out to like other restaurants, like maybe around the area. So if you're visiting from like another state, we can show you around like what a good pizza place is, taco spot. So we yeah. got you. We definitely <laughs> want to do a lot more this year, but we yes. want you guys to come along with us. So if you haven't subscribed, what you doing? It's time to subscribe. <laughs> and we just want to say, guys, we love you and we're going to see you guys here next time on Magic Journeys. Bye!